The purpose of this paranormal game is to summon something dark into your closet that will watch you as you sleep. Keepers, thank you for tuning into Amy's Crypt today. I'm going to be continuing a series I kicked off just recently here on my channel where we've been playing scary paranormal games and today we're going to be trying out the closet game. Now I've been doing this series as an experiment and as a way to try and document paranormal activity inside my own house while we are all on lockdown together and so far the results have been pretty interesting. So let's get to this and I'll run through how to play the closet game. To play the closet game, you will simply need a box of matches and an ordinary closet. Make sure night has fallen and your closet and the room it lies within are in complete darkness. Step inside the closet and close the door behind you. Turn to face the closet door then remain facing it, still and quiet in the darkness for at least two minutes. Take one of your matches and be ready to strike it. Then repeat, show me the light or leave me in darkness. After this, you must listen very carefully. If you hear whispering, you must strike the match as quickly as possible. If you hesitate or act too slowly with lighting the match, you could be grabbed from behind and dragged into the darkness of another realm. If you hear nothing, beware, and under no circumstances look behind you. In this case, wait before lighting your match. When you are ready to leave your closet, open the door and exit, making sure to leave the door closed behind you. It is important to keep your match lit during this process. If it goes out for any reason, make sure to immediately light another. Do not look inside the closet. There is now a dark entity trapped within it. Going forward, you should only ever enter or open your closet if the lights are on. Many who have played this game have reported to sight glowing red eyes watching them from the closet when it has been left open at night. Furthermore, there have been plenty of other reports of strange activity emanating from closets. All right, guys, welcome to my bedroom. For those of you that have watched me play the hosting game, this is where I played the last paranormal game and we had some really interesting results. But we are getting ready to play the closet game. This is the first time I've ever played this particular paranormal game and I'm really, really excited. I'm also a little bit nervous because, you know, they say that you're summoning some kind of demon or bad entity into your closet. I'm not sure that I actually buy into these games and, you know, actually think that they are going to work. But as I said in my last video, anytime that you call out to the spirit realm, you know, you should expect to get a response. You may not get one, but be prepared in case you do. I decided to play the closet game also because throwback to when we played the hosting game. Man, I can't believe how much activity we had doing that. But one of the really strange things that happened was on the Ghost Tube app, which is an app that Jared and I developed ourselves, download for free as well, guys, on Apple and Android. But we had a response that came through and said closet. Closet. No. <laughs> what about my closet? And that has freaked me out about our closet since, guys. So I thought, what better way than to get inside the closet and try and summon something into it? Like, maybe that was a, a, a leading sign wanting us to play this freaking game. But we're gonna play it, see what happens. But we're also going to conduct a little paranormal investigation as we go kind of as we did with the hosting game in the last uh, episode. So I don't know what tools I, I will use yet. I think we're just going to kind of play that by ear. But I do have my whole like case full of goodies here um, and my bag. So we've got a, a few toys to play with and that will be interesting to see if we can pick up on anything coming from the closet. I also feel like we'll play the closet game now, kind of see what happens, and then conduct our investigation kind of immediately after. And I mean, we sleep in this room as well. So <laughs> if we do get any interesting uh, stuff. I think it's gonna be a really, really creepy night for us to, to spend here in the bed. But yeah, let's 
get in the closet, I guess. All right, guys, so it's finally time for us to play in the closet game. I'm going to flick you guys into night mode. And now I'm going to turn the light off. So I'm actually in complete darkness in my room. And the closet is just behind me. So I'm going to open this up. And I'm going to go in. I kind of need to like sit on the floor to get in. Oh my gosh. Whew. Okay, so I have an extra infrared light in here and I have my tripod here. So I'm just gonna set you guys up on my tripod and then we can start. Okay, that was kind of hard to set you guys up on the tripod in the dark. <laughs> but we are in the closet and this ritual is super, super simple. All I need to do is pretty much sit here for two minutes and then say my little line and kind of gets creepy from, from there on out. But I'm just gonna watch my wristwatch and we'll try this in two minutes. So it's been about two minutes now. So I'm gonna get my match ready. It's kind of creepy in here and I just can't stop thinking of last week when Ghost Tube said closet and now I'm sitting in the closet trying to call on something in here. Oh, here goes. Show me the light or leave me in darkness. I'm supposed to listen for whispers and not look behind me, I guess. really hear anything I'm just gonna light the match and then leave so that kind of cuts the game over oh crap hosting game all over again <laughs> Okay guys, so I just finished playing the closet game. I closed the closet behind me. My camera, my night vision camera, I just left rolling in there. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> so closet behind me, I'm not supposed to open that anymore unless I have a light on because supposedly there's something bad in there. But I've just left my night vision camera rolling in there. I might just leave it on for a little bit longer while we kind of get set up out here. And then I'll open the closet, we'll turn all the lights off again, and we'll start investigating and see if something has moved in. All right, I'm back. <laughs> How did you go in here, little camera? So I'm gonna remove you now. I've got the light on, which is the safest way to enter my closet now. Do not come in the closet without the light on, apparently. Let's get you out. Because you've gone all blurry. Alright, I think it's time to start investigating the closet. Alright guys, so now we're going to start investigating. I'm going to use some of the tools that I used in my last paranormal game. So I have a K2 meter. This measures changes in electromagnetic magnetic field, which people believe spirits can give off. These are known as cat balls, as we like to call them. They are basically a cat toy, but um, when you turn them on, basically if they are physically moved and they need to be physically moved, they light up these flashing colors, just like this. So I'm gonna put some inside the closet as well as this, and I don't know, we'll wait and see if anything weird happens in there. Be able to see that. 
All right guys, so I've got two cameras going. One is on my face and I currently have one pointed directly into the closet. So that will be monitoring those little balls in the K2 meter the entire time. So if anything happens in there, you'll see it. Um, and I can flick between the two screens and show you guys what is going on. The first thing that I want to do, I guess, is reach out to the closet. I mean, I don't feel like there's anything in there. I don't feel like there's any weird atmosphere or <laughs> anything in this room. But if we have invited something in somehow, I want to reach out and just say hi, I guess. I don't know if it's bad, if it's evil, if there's probably nothing there to tell you the honest truth. And when I did that little game, it just felt like... I felt like a weirdo doing it just because I was playing this game. But I honestly did not get any weird vibes doing it. So, but... Let's try. Hi, my name is Amy and I've just summoned you into my closet and I would love to know if there is actually someone or something here. Can you give us a sign, any sign at all? It can be a scratch, it can be a bite, it can be lighting up one of these green lights by going close to it. Kicking one of those balls across the room. If you touch them, they'll light up different colors. Can you make any type of noise at all? If you're bad and you're a demon, you probably want to scare us, right? So, I don't know. Just a suggestion, but you could slam. The closet door. How does this game work? Does it work? Are you going to be in my closet forever now? Don't you have anywhere better to be? You better be self-isolating in that closet for, for the next 14 days. So the other thing I'll do is let's I'm gonna set up my ghost tube device and I'll pop it um, kind of in the doorway with everything else. Last time it said closet. I don't know that it'll say anything this time. Okay, so let's hit record on this ghost tube now. I'm just gonna chuck it. Oh crap. There is someone in my closet. Can you go towards that device, go grab it. Maybe you can use it to give me a word. Tell me something about yourself, who you are, why you're here. Scare me. Another thing. I might use in a minute, not right now, because I don't want to use too much stuff at once. But I also have my thermal camera, and I'm just going to wait a few more minutes and see if we get anything on Ghost Tube. If we do not, then I'm totally just going to like thermal image map my, my wardrobe and just see what happens. I did empty a bunch of stuff out of there to kind of fit in there and play this game with some drawers. But I've got like my Freddy Krueger dress in there and stuff. <laughs> Is there really something in my closet? I want to know. Are you going to watch me when I sleep with your glowing red eyes? You 
you know what's cool guys? Just doing this little like at home investigation with you all. Have a nice cup of tea in my bedroom. Normally we're out on location and it's like cold, raining, super hot, dangerous, smelly, but it's quite nice. <laughs> All right guys, so I just cut the ghost tube, reason being is we weren't getting too much fruit on it and I wanna try this and I don't wanna overwhelm anyone with too many overlays and gadgets going on screen. So I thought, just do one at a time. I, I don't expect that we will see anything in the closet. I mean, ghosts generally show up as like cold spots, but would a demon just be a big hot thing? <laughs> I don't know. I honestly like I don't feel like this has really summoned anything or that there's something in the closet. You know what I mean? I'd be very very surprised if something lit up or or, or occurred in the closet space. I know last time when we played the hosting game, we had a whole bunch of devices go off. Is there anybody in my bedroom? Is there anybody in my bedroom? I did not expect that at all, but this, I'll be very, very surprised. So I'm just recording now into the closet. It's like 20, it's, I don't know, 25 degrees-ish. I'll put what that is in Fahrenheit below. Uh, it is pretty warm, but it was a warm day today. In my bedroom holds the heat. Yo, if there's someone in there, where are you? Can you make this go hotter or colder in this room? Yeah, I don't really see anything happening here. We're also just pointed out inside on a bare wall, so like the heat mapping isn't that interesting. If I come over here, Jared's actually helping me film, so <laughs> you can see his heat map. But... <laughs> yeah, there's nothing in there. Come on! Ah, so I'm gonna leave that be. The other thing when I was in there, I didn't hear any voices or whispering or anything weird when I, I did the little ritual. There's also not much to the ritual, so it's kind of like, did I do it right? Is that it? Like, you know what I mean? So, I don't know, it was fun, but. All right, so we've been calling out for a little while. Nothing has happened. Unless, I mean, we've picked up EVPs or something on the camera, which i pretty doubtful of. But yeah, this has been rather uneventful. It's been kind of interesting and fun just to try something new anyway. And, I mean, if there really is something like a demonic entity hanging in the wardrobe, which, you know, honestly, I hope there's not, but I don't believe there is. Would it just, you know, do this stuff on command? Me asking it, go light up this little green light or this ball, you know? You'd think that it would try to do things on its own terms <laughs> rather than me telling it what to do. So I don't know. What we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of cut the session now. We'll probably get ready for bed, to be honest. Maybe we'll rig a camera while we sleep just to monitor the closet and this area to see if anything weird happens. I will be sleeping with the closet door open tonight. Part of the game is, you know, following, playing that you should never ever open your closet door unless you have the light on. And people who have played before and left their closet door open at night when they sleep, they've reported things like red eyes staring out of the closet at them like while they sleep, which is really, really creepy. As well as just weird stuff happening in and around the closet, like noises and such. I don't know that there's just gonna be a demon in there forever. Like, I, don't, I just don't buy into that. But, <laughs> I mean, time will tell, time will tell. But yeah, we'll rig some cameras tonight and we'll check back in before we go to bed, I guess. All right guys, so it's pretty late now. Jared and I are gonna get ready to jump into bed. And I've set the camera up here. So I feel like you can kind of see the wardrobe pretty well. You won't really see us in bed, maybe our feet, but that's all right. <laughs> 
Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll leave the doors open and put some equipment in and see if anything happens during the night. All right, guys, so Jared and I are more than ready for bed. I'm so friggin' tired. We've got the cupboard open behind us, or the closet, and I've got the K2 and the cat balls on the floor. It's a kind of a good view, I think, so you should be able to see if anything kind of goes off. And then you'll probably just be able to see our feet here at the end of the bed. But let's just go lights off, and if there is someone in the closet, you can come out and play. <laughs> We're just gonna leave that open, so. See you in the morning. Bye. guys all right we did it we made it to the next morning we successfully spent the night inside our bedroom after playing the closet game now I have to admit nothing weird happened I have not reviewed that footage yet though you guys have probably already watched it in this video so I'll note if anything strange did happen but I didn't wake up to any weird noises any lights flashing anything like that I do have to admit I had some pretty weird dreams but to me that's not abnormal at the moment I'm actually having a lot of weird dreams since we are cooped up in our homes on lockdown whatever you would like to call it apparently that is something that a lot of people are experiencing at the moment let me know if if you're suffering from these really strange dreams but my dream last night was that I kept hearing <laughs> It does sound kind of creepy when I, I talk it out, but I kept hearing a man's voice and it was actually waking me up. And the voice that I was hearing wasn't sinister or anything. I couldn't make out what they were saying, like it was muffled, but I knew that they were a news reporter. So that kind of just tells me, Amy, you're probably watching the news too damn much, which at the moment I'm trying to keep away from. But yeah, I didn't really experience anything weird other than that. So I can't tell you that was demonic or paranormal. I will keep you updated. I don't feel like anything weird happened from playing this game though, but as I said, time will tell. Now I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, share and subscribe. I really, really do want to hear from you though. I want to hear about how your lockdown is going. 
for you having these weird dreams and that you're still enjoying these paranormal games because man I'm having so much fun playing these games and filming these videos for you. If you guys want to do any more reading about the closet game or any haunted places that I visited from around the world then head to my website amyscrypt.com I'm posting two blogs a week over there. You guys can also keep up with me and what I'm doing at Amy's Crypt on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. I'm also posting bonus content for my patrons and my YouTube members over there on those platforms as well so if you want more Amy's Crypt then maybe go check them out well thank you for watching Crypt Keepers until next time